fire signs, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a daily reading for you. And it's, you know, it's more, I feel like, about really just taking a look at, you know, what's going on in the next 24 hours or what really needs to be focused on or possibly where you need support or, you know, possibly a different way of, to look at something. You know, this is meant to bring you up. This is meant to increase your vibration, raise your vibration, okay? So, so let's see what we get, okay? So I'm starting by just pulling four different oracle cards, okay? And what I'm finding is that, you know, I'm pulling cards from different decks but it feels like the message is very similar from the cards that I'm pulling. I'm going to clarify with tarot, all right? These are not meant to be long at all. Just as a little daily inspiration, whatever you want to call it. But we might find that you know, each message really isn't related, okay? So we'll see how it goes. All right, fire signs, let's see what we have for you. Look at this, God is your source, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God or the universe, or whatever whatever you call God. And your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. So, you know, that just feels, that feels beautiful. And that feels like um, reassurance that, you know, there's, there's enough to go around. So if you are not starting something because you think, you know, let's say you love to bake, okay? You love to make beautiful cupcakes. Um, and you say to yourself, gosh, you know, I love doing this, but, you know, my cupcakes would never look as good as a bakery's cupcakes or they would never look as good as, you know, this other bakery that that does cupcakes and you end up talking yourself out of something you know if you love to make cupcakes and you know that's a passion of yours and you love to decorate them I mean there are just thousands of ways to to decorate cupcakes right and there will be you will find you know your tribe or audience or you know customer that will want your cupcakes because they come from you, okay? You know, you might not, you know, beat out your, your local top bakery, maybe not in your first year, maybe in your second or third year, but it's really about the fact that you love to do it, you know, the love that you put into the cupcakes, okay? It's not about, you know, how big you get or how fast you get or how fast, you know, you grow. It's about the fact that you get to do what you enjoy doing, all right? So that's what I feel like this card is really saying, you know? It's like having faith, you might have to believe in something before you actually see the results. Believe in yourself before you actually, again, before you actually see the results believe in a relationship before you actually see it in the physical world there's plenty of abundance there's enough to go around doesn't matter i mean you know you can think of you know a hundred different examples of you know businesses or youtube channels i mean my goodness, you know, how many tarot channels? I couldn't even imagine how many tarot channels are out there, okay? And I really don't pay attention that much anymore. Um, 
Yeah, I do what I do. <laughs> and maybe you like it, maybe you don't. You know, my intention is always to do my best for you guys, okay? So that's beautiful. God is your source, you know? And so that means you're not alone. You have the support of the universe. You have this, your ideas and your intentions have the support of your higher self and the universe. What do we have here? Look at this. Look at this. Spiritual or religious community. Join with like-minded people for friendship and increase spiritual growth. Wow. This is very, very, very spiritual. You know, this could represent, you know, your, your tribe. You, you might be connecting with people online or on YouTube um, you know, with com that have common interests, you know, you yourself might be, you know, very interested in learning as much as you can about, you know, the spiritual community or tarot or channeling or mediumship or, uh, psychic types of abilities, you know, that might really, really interest you. You might be wondering, gosh, you know, should I, should I start my own channel? The answer is yes. If that's something you want to do, you would have something to say. And you would, you would have people that would want to listen to you. Okay? If you feel called to do something like that. Okay? So what do we have here? Look at this. Wow. Blessed. Number 22. So, wow. That's a that's a very spiritual number, 22. All right? Um, it's a master healer. It feels like you've been blessed with some spiritual some very spiritual talents or gifts that are meant to be heard, that are meant to be seen. This is beautiful. You've been blessed with something. And I feel like your intuition is telling you that as well. You know, it doesn't have to be a YouTube channel, okay? It can be, it can be lots of different things. You could be a natural healer of some kind. Like maybe you're Maybe you're into massage, you know, maybe you're, you know, a counselor, um, you know, maybe you're a nurse, you know, all of these, all of these things um, are some form of healing, you know, and maybe you want to expand that. And that's beautiful. What else do we have here? Lost and found. What's this about? What was, what was once lost is about to be found. Thanks to the lost and found fairy. <laughs> Sorry, the fairies sometimes make me laugh. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. So what I'm immediately getting from this, okay, is I feel like you might have felt at some point in your life, maybe early on in your, in your childhood or in your teenage years, you might have felt some call to do something like this. You might have called, you know, to, you've been called to be in the medical community or work with animals or help people that, that feel alone in life. And then life got a grip on you and, you know, you went in a more, maybe more traditional or a more physical world type of path. And you might be feeling at this point that, you know, I, I'm not resonating with what I'm doing anymore. I feel called to do something else. I feel like that's what this reading is about. You're starting to find different aspects or you're remembering different aspects of who you are. And you might be changing a little bit right now. Okay, which is okay. All right, so let's clarify this with tarot. A 
Okay, what do we have here? Look at this. Ten of Pentacles. God is your source of abundance. And we have Ten of Pentacles here. So for people who think that they can't do something on their own or they can't do something that they love to do, you're wrong. You can do something that you love to do, all right? And you can get paid for it. Ten of Pentacles, abundance. This is the card of abundance. You know, I can't think of a better card to clarify that. What do we have here? Spiritual or religious community. And then we have Ten of Swords. Wow. So there might be a part of you, okay? This I feel like this is working on somebody's belief that they can have something that they want, okay? This you this is about really not feeling like life has been very fair to you, okay? And that might be that might feel very very true. But whatever has happened in your life up until this point has possibly pushed you towards a more spiritual type of life. And what this is telling you over here is that doesn't mean that you can't be have abundance in your life at the same time. Okay? So because life has betrayed you, you might be turning to a more spiritual type of community. You might be turning towards a more spiritual path as far as your career, as to what you do. Okay? So everything that you've been through hasn't been in vain. Okay? It's led you to where you are now, which is possibly on the cusp of doing something or integrating your life in a more spiritual way. You're blessed. And then we have the world. That is beautiful. So it feels like, you know, you might be coming to the end. I mean, this is 10, 10, basically. I mean, this is 21, but it has two 10s in it. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, it's like something is coming to an end. So something that is blessing you is coming forward is coming to the forefront and I feel like it's going to be very very satisfying to you because it's going to be something that allows you to feel like you okay if this represented not ever feeling like yourself or feeling like you had to be somebody else then this and this especially you know is is about being able to be who you are and not apologize for it. Remember, this is master healer. You probably are some type of healer, okay? All right, and then lost and found. What do we have here? The chariot. Card of cancer, but this when this this is about moving forward, moving forward, leaving something that wasn't serving you behind, okay? or that you might have felt betrayed by. Maybe you just lost your job and you want to be angry at people. Or, you know, maybe you just lost a, a relationship, but it was part of your spiritual journey. And it's pushing you towards something that feels beautiful, that allows you to follow your heart, which you are starting to find. You're starting to find your heart's desire. And that's key. That's key. And if you have fear of losing abundance because of it, you got to get rid of that. Because it feels like something is trying to come in here for you to help possibly heal the world. This was a big one. Big reading. And beautiful. And this is what I'm talking about. You know, these messages will be about, you know, helping you possibly think of things or thinking of maybe really difficult times in a different way. Okay, because there are different ways to think about things truly. And, and 
I, I don't say that without, you know, I wouldn't say that if I hadn't been through those types of situations myself. And trust me, I have. All right. So I hope this was helpful. And again, the readings will be numbered. And so you can kind of check off which ones you've seen and which ones you haven't. They're, they're just going to move forward like that. I hope to do about three or four a week you know, and we'll see how it goes. All right. So thank you so much and enjoy your day. All right. Bye.